That ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> Wait, do y'all? This your girl, Star J Craziness, and I'm coming to you, 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 and you with another Word on the Street segment. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. So, World Housewives of Atlanta season 15 is losing viewership at a rapid pace. And I'm like, well, hell, they've been losing viewership since season 12. Well, not, we'll say season 13, but I mean, I've been out the race <laughs> even looking at World Housewives of Atlanta, unless, you know, somebody bring it up in a clip and people are talking about it on social media other than that yeah it's been a lose lose for me but to each his own so a lot of people or i should say fans um are saying you know this is lackluster real housewives of atlanta has run their course we need a reboot we need a new cast and at this point i've been saying that since i don't know how many seasons ago like let some other ladies that our housewives, for real, for real, live up to the title of the show, uh, hello, um, to become, you know, a housewife. Let us see them and how they carry on day by day. But we keep giving the same people. We keep bringing people back. Like, we need some new, some new, new, okay? We tired of seeing the same old storyline. You revamp it a little bit, but it's still the same storyline, so, Real Housewives of Atlanta season 15 is four episodes into its run so far, but things might be taking a sour turn before we've even reached the halfway mark. So far, Real Housewives of Atlanta season 15 feels like pretty standard Real Housewives fare. The most recent episode saw plenty of drama, including Marlo banging and kicking against Kenya's door like she was just running rampant having a tantrum okay now while this all is good for tv the exciting drama most fans ain't feeling it okay they are not feeling it which is making the viewership decline i also want to throw out there that the episode premiered on memorial day weekend okay we was out doing other stuff we weren't glued to no damn tv trying to figure out what's going on between marlo and her blaming candy for everything and uh, we weren't trying to watch that so we can always watch it at a later time because somebody gonna upload it on youtube you can watch it on peacock streaming service so it's different other avenues we can watch this so we don't have to be an actual live viewer to watch it on tv so you know i just had to throw that out there you know mm -hmm. with that being said the season has had the lowest viewership for the series in years particularly the last episode that premiered last sunday the season premiere debuted with a decent 834,000 viewers but the numbers have been dipping since then the most recent episode saw only 657,000 viewers and a severe underperformance with the target demographic of 18 to 49 year olds at only 20 percent so far season 15 has averaged 748 500,000 viewers per episode comparing to the last season average of 950,000 and to season 12 and 13 with an average viewership of 1.8 million and 1.25 million respectfully <laughs> they had to put that on there previous seasons also had a much stronger hold on its target demographic ranging from 30 to 60 percent now we done had talks about you know kim allegedly trying to get back on the show um people wanted phaedra to get back on the show people wanted portia to get back on the show we don't need nobody else back on the show we need to revamp it A.K. new cast. Give some other ladies out there a shot to be on this show. Period. Point blank. Tired of seeing the same people. For real, for real. Let's, let's keep it a book, okay? Let's keep it a book. Now, fans are calling for a hard reset, like I said. Not just for Atlanta, but for the other Housewives franchise in general. Many believe going into a younger direction might help reach the target demographic all in all season 15 might still be too young to call it a dud but we'll just have to wait to see how things shake up as well as what this is 
we only did four episodes. So, for Real Housewives of Atlanta, for some reason, you know, they might start off strong the first episode, you know, just to get us in or whatever. But then, as it go throughout the um episodes, traction start picking up, okay? And with Candy, you know, telling us different things on Speak On It to look forward to, you know, we might see some stuff. Some stuff might pop off, all right? But a YouTuber by the name of Jeremy Speaks TV, shouts out to him. He had said something on his um Twitter. So he was calling out an executive producer by the name of Eric Fuller. And this is what he said. Eric Fuller is single-handedly destroying all the black housewives franchise. And it's about time we discuss Eric's lackluster performance as the executive producer of Real Housewives of Potomac and Real Housewives of Atlanta and clear bias to losers like well damn we have to say losers but Sheree, Marlo, Giselle and Robin he also went to say under that that for the record his tweet was not meant to personally attack him or give the space he wanted us to strictly focus on the show and the editing in the convo but y'all have taken this to the left okay you already know people gonna take it how they see it everybody perception is not the same you feel me so eric got a hold of this and he had basically reposted what um jeremy had said and he gonna say well i'll be damned this is news to me. And then he has a little laughing emoji. It's like, boy, come on now. You already know. You see what be going on, especially on Twitter. Especially on Twitter. They be pop, pop, popping it off like it's popcorn in the microwave. Child, too much for me. Too much for me. But um, y'all just tell me what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Do you think they just need to can? <laughs> It made me think about my, yeah, the time about some Marlowe's a canned peach. But can this whole Real Housewives of Atlanta shut it down? Do you think they just need to get a new cast um, or just take Marlowe out? Because, you know, they a lot of people saying that it's Marlowe, uh, Sheree, and that new lady, Courtney, that's bringing all this chaos and this destruction for no reason on the show. And it's really not giving what needs to be given. Or, you know, get rid of candy. I don't know. But like I've been saying for years, we just need a new cast. Let somebody else get a peach. Okay? Let them get the juices of <laughs> the peach. Let them be able to prosper and do other stuff with the peach. Somebody else. We already gave these ladies enough time to, you know, give us their life story and, um, and go to different avenues where they can make some more moolah, okay? Because they can always tell us their life story on YouTube. You know, Kel shouts out to Candy. She doing her thug this or she making this um Bravo thing work for her. You feel me? So, other ladies need to take account. But anyways, y'all tell me what y'all think. And I'll see you on the next Word on the Street.